Hello friends, I'm Parwaisa and in this video we want to learn that how we can use uh, um, Vertex AI and also Google Gemini uh, with Python. So first of all, what is Vertex AI? Now, Vertex AI is a comprehensive AI platform developed by Google Cloud that provides tools for building, deploying and managing machine learning models. It enables users to leverage Google's state-of-the-art models. Like Gemini, it's the latest evolution of Google's language models for different AI applications. So now Vertex AI streamlines the entire AI lifecycle and offers different features, uh, for example, like uh, pre-trained models, custom model training, automated ML, uh, Vertex AI workbench, and also model monitoring and evaluation. Now, one of the most significant features uh, of Vertex AI is its Gemini model, uh, so which are cutting edge language models built to handle different NLP tasks, including text generation, classification, and conversational AI. These models enable enterprises to build highly effective and intelligent AI solutions without the complexity of managing the underlying infrastructure. So now, our main topic is about Google Gemini. Now, the Gemini family of models developed by Google uh, represents a powerful series of multi-model AI models designed for different range of tasks, including language understanding, visual comprehension, and multi-model input processing. Uh, Gemini models are primarily known for their ability uh, to process different type of uh, uh, data inputs, including text, images, uh, videos, and also audios. And uh, we have different uh, families of the uh, Gemini that you can use. For example, uh, we have one Pine series like Pro and uh, Vision, uh, uh, and also we have uh, uh, 1.5 Pro and it has different features. So now uh, let's learn that how we can use uh, Google Gemini API with Python programming language. So before starting our main coding, uh, first thing is this, that you need to create an account and Google Cloud uh, platform. So now this is my Google Cloud console. Now when you create an account, you need to add your billing information. Uh, and uh, after adding the billing information and after verifying the billing information, uh, you will receive an amount of uh, credit that uh, you can use that for, it's for three or four months, for three months, I think. Uh, you can use that uh, for free, okay? So when you create an account, first you need to just add uh, your billing information. Now after that, what you need to do, uh, right now if you see, uh, I have two projects, uh, now in this project I have, uh, okay, so let me create a new project and uh, let me just call it a uh, uh, new uh, project and uh, I don't want the organization, let's just, uh, okay, so you can see you have four projects remaining in your quota, request an increase or delete projects. So right now I'm going to just uh, uh, create this project. Uh, so now uh, the project will be created, so let's just wait. Okay, so now the project is created. If I just go here and you can see, uh, okay, so you can see we have our new project. So now this is our new project. Uh, after that, what you need to do, you need to just search for the uh, Vertex AI API. So from here, you can just uh, choose Vertex AI API. Uh, now first, uh, we need to enable this. So you can see that uh, we can train high quality custom machine learning models with uh, minimal machine learning expertise. So first, what we need to do, we need to just enable this. So I can just click on enable. So when you have your billing information, then it will be enabled. If you don't have billing information, then it will tell you that you need to enable the billing information for your this project. So because right now I have my billing information and there is no problem. Okay, so right now you can see that it's selling to use this API, you may need credentials, okay? So you can just click on credentials from here, you can create or you can just click on this create credentials and uh, uh, from here also you can create your credentials, okay? So, Okay, so now uh, from here you can use that which API uh, are you using. For example, I'm going to use Vertex AI API. After that, from here you can uh, you need to uh, select the application data. So we have user data. Uh, data is belonging to a Google user. 
like their email address or age user consent required and we want to use uh, application data so i can just click uh, select this application data let's click on next and from here you need to give uh, a name so my uh, service account or whatever you want you can just name it and leave this as it is and you can just click on create and continue so now from here you need to select a rule so for uh, right now i'm going to just choose owner but you can give uh, access uh, to any api from here you can see, uh, see uh, bling or for example you can restrict the uh, parmesan uh, uh, but for right now i want to just uh, choose it uh, uh, owner okay so owner and let's just click on continue so now let's just click on done okay so now uh, if you see uh, so if I, if I just go to the credentials now let's just go to the credentials so we have our this service account we can just click on this and from here what we need to do we need to create our key okay so we need to create our API key So now from here we can just click on keys and we can click on add key create new key and we want json let's just click on create okay so now that's created and it's downloaded okay so now what we need to do we need to just copy that i'm going to just uh, copy this and i'm using a pie chart id i already have created a project so you can just click on new new project you can choose the project name you can just choose the python version and click on uh, create and it will be created so i already have you can see that i have a service uh, dot json uh, let me just delete this okay and i'm going to just paste this new one and i'm going to just change this to uh, service uh, dot json okay so now uh, what we need to do now we need to add this in our environmental variable okay so what you need to do, you need to just right click and you need to just copy the uh, absolute path from here. And uh, after that, what we need to do in here uh, and the environmental variables, you I already have this, but you can add a new one. But I have, I want to just edit that. If you don't have, you can just click on new uh, uh, environmental variable that will be added. So let's just click on edit and the variable name, you need to just give Google application credentials. And after that, you need to give the path, okay? So let me just copy this, okay? And the name is service.json, okay? So service.json, let's just click on OK, click on OK, and let's just click on OK, okay? So sometimes it will not work. What you need to do, you need to just uh, restart your ID and it will work. So now in the next uh, uh, video, we will learn that how we can uh, do coding. So now let's start our coding. Now, first, what we need to do, we need to install Google Cloud API platform, okay? So we can just say pip install Google Cloud API platform. So I already have installed it, and you can just use this command and it will be installed. So now, after that, what we want to do, uh, we want to uh, uh, first create our project. First, we need to import that. Uh, uh, I want to import, so, import vertex AI and from vertex AI dot preview dot generative models we want to import a generative model so now what we need to do we need to create our project ID okay so from where you can find the project ID uh, let me open that up so you can just click on new project and this is the project ID okay so I can just copy this and after that I can just paste it in here so this is my project ID and after that we need to find the region now by default you will have use central one region and uh, you can find that from here for example for the vertex AI service you can just click on this uh, you can choose the vertex AI and from the vertex AI and from here you can just choose metadata and after clicking on the metadata you can just see that we have used central one so i can just say us uh, central one uh, central one okay uh, it shouldn't this is correct 
So now after that, what we want to do, we want to initialize Vertex AI API and I can say Vertex AI dot init and we need to add the project and that is the project ID and also the location is uh, region. Okay. So this is the region that we have added US Central one. Uh, now after that, we can analyze the text. So I can just say analyze text. Uh, I need to just create a function. Uh, let me just call it analyze text with Gemini like this and we can give a user message as a prompt okay so now uh, what we want to do first we need to check that if uh, so if not the user message if we don't have any message for the user we want to just say that please uh, provide some text for analysis okay like this uh, so in the else case what we want to do we want to create a try block and we need to initialize the generative model so i can just say generative uh, generative underscore model and we can use the uh, uh, generative model and in here we need to give the name of that model so we want to use gemini for example uh, it is uh, 1.5 uh, yeah 1.5 pro uh, 002 okay so there are different uh, uh, models that you can use i'm going to use this one okay also we have 1.5 pro that you can also use that uh, now after that what we want to do we want to generate the content so i can just say response uh, generative model uh, generative model dot uh, generate content and in here we need to pass the user message okay and after that we need to extract the response text from the Gemini and I can say return response uh, response dot text and also we can say accept uh, exception as e so we can return something for example an error occurred str and we can pass e in here okay so now let's run the chat bot uh, in a simple loop uh, because we want to ask from the user so underscore name underscore main and uh, we can just print something that ask uh, me anything and uh, or we can say for example type exit to quit okay so uh, now let's create a while so while true a while loop so uh, while it's true what we want to do we want to just get the input from the user okay so input and I can say you okay now if user input uh, dot lower okay so dot lower if user write exit okay exit what we want to do we want to uh, say goodbye and we want to break the loop so print and i can just say goodbye and break so in the else case what we want to do we want to just uh, call our analyze text with gemini uh, function and we want to pass the user input so gemini response and uh, we can say analyze uh, text with Gemini and let's add our user input and also we want to just print uh, Gemini Gemini response okay so now let's just run this that it's working or not let me run it Okay, so now let's just see what's AI. So you can see that AI or artificial intelligence, you can see that we have information about that. Let me just say what is Python. Okay. So you can see that this is Python. Okay, Python is high level and like this you can use uh, Google Gemini with Python. Also, uh, please subscribe uh, my channel, like the video and also share the video.